All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke Gun. Check me out on anthonysmoke.com or follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. Today, we are back in Tableau. And I've got just a very simple uh, bar chart here using my uh, handy uh, NBA data set, just showing number of wins uh, by NBA team split by Western and Eastern Conference. Uh, very easy visualization to put together a uh, bar chart. Everyone knows that I could take a measure and throw it on the label here, and I will get uh, that, uh, that measure will show up uh, just to the outside of the bar chart. But what if I wanted to to place that value just to the inside, right? So if I were to go here and change the alignment, you'll see if I go to middle, it's in the middle there. If I go to left, it's it's way to the left. And if I go right, it's on the outside. So just gonna show you a quick little tip here to switch it up from the uh, from the default, um, where you're gonna place that, uh, that value just to the inside. And I gotta shout out Andy uh, Kreeble for this tip. So shout, shout out to him. Um, what we're gonna do here, first of all, I'm gonna take wins off of the um, off of the label, and we're going to copy uh, our measure, which is wins, and we're gonna make it a dual axis, right? I'm gonna synchronize the axis. Actually, I don't even need the axis, so let's uh, let's not show it. And you know, first I'll do this on the second. We're gonna do the second marks card. Let's change that to a uh, a Gantt bar, and you'll see what that does is it it changes uh, one of the marks to a Gantt bar. And I'm gonna go to the first one. Whoops, yeah, first one. We wanna make that a bar, and I wanna make sure that second one's a Gantt bar. Great. All right. Uh, now the second thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring uh, our wins, our measure here, making sure that we're on the Gantt bar. We're gonna bring that over to the label and it still puts it still puts our measure to the outside but now uh, if we click on the label and change our alignment to left you'll see that it it moves it to the inside there right and actually you know I could I could change the color of the uh, of the text here if I wanted to to make it white uh, you know that's that's completely up to you if you want to do that uh, and you'll see now we have those values just to the inside of our bar right just giving us a little different uh, aesthetic uh, than the than the standard options but you'll notice uh, I've got this negative space here uh, because of this value so what you have to do is you have to go in here edit the axis uh, go to a fixed axis and let's just change that to zero right and that removes the space so there you go you've got your values uh, just to the inside of your uh, your bar so again just a, just a quick tip here got to credit Andy uh, Kreeble for this um, you know take this tip get out there do some good things with your data thanks for watching everyone